What's up my fellow grease monkeys? Uh, today I'm starting a new series on my channel. It's gonna be called Do It For Science and it's gonna be nothing but experiments and tests and just trying different things out on cars. It's all gonna be car related. Uh, today my brilliant idea is to see if coke can replace coolant. And I'm gonna sacrifice one of my cars for science so I guess I'm gonna try it so you don't have to. The only the only issue that I might have is, is the fact that it's carbonated. You know if it gets bubbly, frothy, foamy, whatever, whatever. I don't know if it'll circulate through the system, so that's the only issue I can think of, but I don't know, it'll be interesting to find out if it works, you know, just to, to get you to the coolant, to get you to the water, to uh, just to get you out of a bond, you know, you might be stuck in the middle of nowhere, no water, but a trunk full of soda, so let's see if it works, alright, because I don't know. All right, so right here, I'm checking the temperatures of just water just to get like a base test. I'm having to talk over this video because it's kind of hard to talk over the engine running right in my face. But um, the temps got up to about 187, 190 before the fans kicked on. The, the block was like, yeah, I think it was 208. Uh, and right away, the fan kicked on for like a second. Temps came down almost instantly. The, the fan was on and off just like that really fast. When do I start? I mean, you're just, just gonna go the whole time. Yeah. Cool. Alright, straight up coke is coming out the bottom of the radiator. I'm gonna put the drape on it. A stop or keep yeah, going? No, I just keep going. Oh, oh. Plus America. <laughs> Is it focused on it? Yeah. <laughs> if somebody saw you, they're like, what in the <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen anybody do this before? That's <laughs> what all the cool kids are doing. Like a Tide Pod challenge. I put some Mentos in there. Oh, put some something. Mentos and then put the cap back on. <laughs> you're on to something. <laughs> Blow up. This is a three liter bottle. What's the capacity? No man, it's like a gallon. A Car gallon's more than three liters. Should still be enough to pump it though. You're gonna blow up your motherfucking car, you dumb fuck. Ah, that'll be all good. I'm gonna turn it in front and like let it suck it up. Whoa! It like geysered out. Die it! <laughs> this is for the weight reduction. Oh. <laughs> smells like a coke float. <laughs> Oh, 
You should have just put all diet. But the diet's not sticky. Oh. Diet is pumping. Circulating. Okay, so this is where we're at. Uh, I did, you know, a base test with nothing but water in there, and it was, you know, I got the temperature before the fans kicked on, after the fans kicked on. I think it got up to like 187, and the fan kicked on for like a second. Right away, the, the temperature came down enough for the fan to turn off, so like it, it regulated itself really fast with just water. And then the second time around with the Coke and the uh, Diet Diet Coke, it. It was able to regulate itself, but it's, it, the fan was on longer. It was working harder to regulate itself with the with the soda in there. It was it's having a harder time to, to keep its temperature, but it never got out of control. Just here idling, it's staying just bouncing off about 187. Fan kicks on, drops down, you know, 178, 179. It's just staying in limbo right there. It's 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 regulated itself, but can you drive? Can you? Can you get to where you need to get to with freaking coke in the radiator? So that's what I'm going to test right now. I'm going to reset my odometer and uh, see if I can drive five miles. I don't know. Hopefully you have a gas station five miles from wherever you're stranded. So here we go. Let's let's hope I make it. <laughs> I, I think I will. I don't think I have a problem, but you never know. Go, just going for a little cruise. Um, even got the AC going just to give the engine a little bit more of a load. And I'm, I'm gonna drive it like I usually drive. Bro, <laughs> I'm gonna drive it like I do every day. I'm gonna get on it, you know, kind of drive it kind of hard. I'm not gonna baby it to see if uh, it'll last under regular driving conditions. I'll keep checking in. I just rode over two miles with no problems. My temperature is nice and happy, right in the middle, right actually below the middle, in fact. Uh, all right, as long as I get to five, you know what, just, I'm halfway through my little drive route, so just, I'm gonna drive it back to where I was working on it, and that'll probably be at least five miles. So if I, basically, if I make it back, I'm gonna call this a uh, success. All right, I just rode over three miles, and I just had the idea to, uh, to try the heater out to make sure the, uh, the coolant circulating through the uh, heater core, or the, the coolant, I mean the Coke, the freaking Diet Coke and Coke. And yes, it, it is circulating through, I, I got heat. It's, it's it's working just like coolant would, or water. So this is, this is looking very promising. All right, I'm wrapping up this test drive. I've rode over four miles, closed it in on five. And you know what, I can even show you that the, the heater's working. Bam, 100 and, 
Uh, missed it. Uh, 137. So yeah, heater's working. It's circulating. It's being pumped through the coolant system. And it seems to be regulating the temperature. I'm <laughs> driving no problem. The, the temp gauge hasn't even tried to creep up. And, you know, I've been driving it like a jerk too. Man, this is... I really had no idea what to expect. And... I mean... <laughs> It's, you wouldn't even know that there was freaking coke in the radiator besides popping the hood and it smelled like a damn coke float All right, I just I just pulled into the driveway at a little over five miles still the temp is fine Gonna pop the hood and, and check my temp see what see where they're sitting at fan isn't even on so that tells me it's got to be at least below 190 look at that just from driving around they dip down to the one 150s that's well below the uh, what these fans even kick on at they kick on like a 187 190 so driving around it has no problem regulating itself just from the uh, air flowing through the radiator fan doesn't even have to be on Man, I'm gonna call this a huge success. I think this will go way beyond five miles. It'll get you to wherever you need to go. It smells weird under here. It smells like a freaking Coke float. My brother wasn't lying. Right, I'm gonna see what comes out when I open up the drain plug. It's probably gonna be a big frothy mess. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. What's it gonna look like? Oh, straight up Coke. <laughs> it smells good. Kinda smells like burnt marshmallows. <laughs> that is awesome. It's coming out more pressurized than when I drank just the water. So just for, just from the way it looks coming out, it had more pressure built up than the than water alone. I mean, it's like spraying straight out. The water just kind of drained out of it like a hose, but this is actually spraying out. So it, it was pressured up for sure. It's like popping a shaking two liter bottle. Uh, there's the victim of today's challenge for science. I guess that wraps up this video. I mean, I'm going to call it an overwhelming success. 100% it will work. It will get you to wherever you need to go. No problem. Fill your radiator up with coke if you need to. You know, if you're in a if you're in a bind and you got no other choice, it's gonna work. It did for me. I guess I shouldn't make any promises. I don't know if it's gonna work for you because every car is different. But it worked for me. I can say that without a doubt. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay greasy. See you on the next one.